Hello from vacation, thanks so much for joining me. If you're new here, please drop a thumbs up on this video, subscribe and leave a comment. Well, Bad Wolves frontman Tommy Vex is responding after a judge granted a restraining order against him by his ex-girlfriend. Uh, in a civil case, she made allegations that he was physically abusive during their relationship. Though Tommy was never charged with any crimes by law enforcement. Now the Bad Wolves frontman has released a statement responding to these allegations made against him. And I'm gonna read directly from that statement after this restraining order was granted by a judge. He wrote, sitting here in quarantine the last few days of this COVID bullshit and the irony of hindsight being 2020 is not lost on me. This year has been the most insane roller coaster of seemingly endless nonsense and effery I have ever experienced. I had, a, I had to cut a lot of toxic people out of my life this last year. I waved my flag and said who I was, and in the end, it will have cost me hundreds of thousands of dollars, but I have to look at it like this. If I was a slave on a plantation, would I play all I had to be free? Well, the answer is yes. So, although once again, 2020 delivered the disappointing blow of injustice, at least the Honorable Judge Joshua D. Wazer was kind enough to publicly exonerate me in his ruling of any physical abuse accusations made by someone with a personal vendetta uh, there was no criminal charges filed against me, none. I lost a civil case because I refused to keep my mouth shut as the press attempted to assassinate everything I had built over the past 20 years. Press who never had an issue with me before I proudly stood up as a patriot this year. So to all the Wolfpack who never doubted me, I thank you for your faith in what we stand for and your continued support. I wish you all much deserved, relaxing and safe holiday season. God bless. So Tommy points out in his statement, he says the Honorable Judge Joshua D. Wazer was kind enough to publicly exonerate me in his ruling of any physical abuse accusations. It would be interesting to see what the judge said during that hearing, um, because if he did do that, as Tommy says, that would be very favorable for Tommy. Um, but he did also grant the uh, protective order, though at the same time, Tommy was never charged with a crime. These areas can get murky and they're difficult to understand. Um, so. Uh, I hope everyone's able to move forward from this very difficult situation. Folks, that is all for now. Thanks so much for joining me today at Rockfeed. If you're new here, you can subscribe with notifications on, drop a thumbs up and leave a comment down below. Thanks again for joining me and we'll see you all very soon. Maybe, just maybe, you might enjoy one of these clips. Join me on Instagram and Spotify for news you may not find here. And if you really want to do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's the best way to support.